and gentlemen, this is Andy. Today we're going to show you a new glitch, which is a bypass on Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer, and it's really, really good. But first, you must uh, practice yourself before doing the real thing by going to custom game and then go on create class. And you have to know that if you press X and circle on the create class, it will go back into the previous lobby like this. Now, once you've done it correctly, you add one button, which is the triangle. So you go X, circle, and triangle really quick at that order and you're gonna remove the menu plus there's gonna be another thing that's gonna pop up which is the character menu and if you've done it correctly you have to do it again you go on to create class and then you uh, press X circle triangle really quick and if you've done it like twice you're gonna be inside the menu before starting anything in multiplayer but if you did it just once you're just gonna be in the menu before the custom game which is gonna help you to bypass um, and many stuff so now I'm gonna do an example with this second controller you can do it with one controller but it, there's so many stuff you can do that I'm just gonna show you one thing but with a second controller so we go find a lobby and then once you find a lobby that you have enough time to do the glitch you have to press X, circle, triangle really quick and you're gonna see the menu popping up and you do it twice again. If you mess it up, you're gonna be like in the previous lobby with all those players, which is kind of weird. But if you done it correctly and you did it twice in a row instead of just one by pressing X, circle, triangle inside the menu, you're gonna be on to the back level and you're gonna hear that the lobby is still going on. So go on a, a LAN party with your second controller and only your second controller and start a game if you've done it correctly once you're finished a game you're gonna see that instead of staying inside one lobby you're gonna gonna go back into the party lobby which is kind of weird and you can only control your second controller so once you've done this just press find game and then um, a private match and store and you're gonna see all those menus saying that you cannot uh, do it with a second controller and then once you've done it just press circle with your second controller and you're gonna see that now you can, I think, you can control with your first controller. But saying back in your second controller, you're gonna see that your first controller gonna have the name Match Play. However, this glitch is temporary, but probably there's a way to make it so you can do it permanently. So yeah, there's so many stuff you can do on this glitch, and I let you guys explore it and do uh, whatever you can do. You can even maybe find a bot lobby and etc. I'm Andy Too Great and I'm out. See ya.